Hello, welcome to a new vlog. If you can't tell by the backdrop, I'm at Pasture Woods in Barton. Pretty local to me, obviously we're still on day session, so this is me fourth, fifth day session of the year so far. Um, second time being on here, I was on here a couple of weeks ago. first few sessions of the year we're at Windmill on the Ulm District Pass. It was between Christmas and New Year my first session on there. I was only getting about six or seven hours fishing with the short days. It was turning up about seven pitch black by half three it was dark so just getting a few hours in there no luck so I decided to come to pastures a couple of weeks ago which is here and yeah no sounds no one had out the day after it was had a lid on it, so that's been cold. Same with windmill, that's been icy as well. So the temperature's been very low, but today is most probably the warmest day of the year so far. So I thought I'd get booked on. Chris from CCWE said he was going, so asked me to come along, so I booked on. And here we are. No action so far, been here a couple of hours, got here half an hour before the gates up. And we're still a third and fourth carving, so that's how busy it is. And to be fair, there's been fish in front of us, especially Chris's peg, quite a lot, so it's looking hopeful. Harry and the peg along. Um, he lost. He's just lost a nice one, unfortunately, bless him. Oh yeah, that's cutting. But it is looking good, so. I will uh, give you an update soon and we'll go see Chris. Alright, so I've got a challenge. Yeah. So there he is, the main man, Mr. Oh, CCW man. himself. <laughs> How's it going? Good, you? Yeah, I'm alright, sir. On a day session, lockdown day session. Solid bags to start with. Seen a few fish, not all in one spot, just all over. So I've got another rod out on a zig, on a eight foot zig. So we've only been we've, we've been here about seven, so it's about five hours, four, yeah, four, four five hours. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, the temperatures have come up a little bit today, so it's nice to see a few fish to be fair. Jim's into him. Jim can just enjoy playing this because the bikes are few and far between, that's the first one he's had. Don't blame you. Don't look a bad fish, Jim. It's a mirror in it. It's a pair I can see it sticking out as well. 
dulu ya nih. Oh, it's a nice fish. It's one of that, man. What is it? It's a nice fish. Yes. Got one of that, man. <laughs> hey, good lad. Well done, Jim. Is that? Smile for the Get camera. <laughs> Very nice, Jim. Like that. Best fish of the year. Spot on. Going to the acid pair as usual. Only a couple of want them salt. Lovely long meal. What do we say? Twenty pound four ounces, yeah, wasn't it? Twenty pound four ounce. Nice. Twenty from here. Lovely. Lovely fish. Lovely. Very nice. It is. Yep. Can't be on a cold day like this, nice. Yeah. Take some photos, get Spot back. Spot on. It's lovely. It should be Very nice. First fish of the year. Hopefully more to come this year. Right, so I've just had that fish on me spinner rig that I was on the helicopter system. I'm just gonna quickly show you how I make it and what you need to make it so easy. So basically um, some flow row, 35 pound clear, some ready tied spinner rigs and some shrink tubing with a bit of putty and your desired, um, depends what sort of system you're fishing it on. I fish it on a helicopter so I use a quick chain swivel with a large ring or you can just use a quick chain swivel, it's up to you. So I'm going to show you how to make it. Take your desired amount of fluoro. I'd say that's about right for the length that I like to use. I'll snip that. Take one of the spinners using barbless because it's barbless only on here. It's just a matter of tying this on. Sorry about my mucky fingers, like. So yeah, feed about two inches through and just loop it over. It is a bit fatty but and put it over and back through. So yeah, do that like so and then pull tight. Just like so and then we'll give that a tighten up in a minute and trim it down so Leave that as that for now. Then you're gonna do that same knot at the other end. Just like so. And you wanna get your rig pullers. So let's give that a quick tighten. Get them knots nice and tight. There we go. Trim the ends of them knots. Now it's time for the shrink tubing. So I'm going to cut a tiny bit off for that first knot, just to cover that knot. And then another bit, a bigger bit, to go on the other end and act as a, a sort of anti-tangle sleeve and to cover the knot. So thread the smallest one on first, obviously, to cover the one that's going to cover the first knot. And put your other one on second. Put my swivel on now. There we go. So that's now ready to get steamed. Just to straighten up the fluoro and to shrink the shrink tubing. I like to do the tubing first. Get that shrunk. Wet down. To the other tube, um, to the other shrink tubing. Get that shrunk. Pull tight and just go all the way back, straightening out that floor roll. A little bit on there. There we go. Look how straight that is now. Straight as a die. Final piece of the puzzle. A little bit of putty. <coughs> just be out in that shrink tube in. 
like so. There we have it. I'm going to put my up bait on and there we go. That is the fish catching rig. Acid pair pop up on there. And for you that are still watching, I'm going to do a little giveaway for you. So you can win yourself some of the acid pair pop ups and the spinner cranks. All you have to do is simply like the video and comment what weight the fish was that I've had. So you have to do, I'm going to do this every video from now on. So if you have a fish on a zig, next video I'll be giving away some of the components used for the zig and so on. We're going to do that every video and good luck. And another thing, please subscribe because this year is going to be a big year. Plenty of videos coming out this year, got loads of venues but good venues as well and a few challenges and good videos in general, funny videos, serious videos, informational videos and all that so yeah please subscribe and thanks then they're just our bag stems they're straight off the end of the chod and we can use that in the bag Normally you won't get a stiff material in a bag. So we'll drop it in like that, make sure that the bait's on the top. And we'll put just a bit of old ground bait in. And making sure that, that sits on the top. Nothing can interfere. Then some of our BHP fillet mixed with our low protein fillet. Notice that all the all the bait is on the top, there's nothing on the bottom, the lead is against the bottom. And the reason for that is so that you'll know that when that hits the water, the weight of the lead go to the bottom of your bait sat on the top. So I'll just give that a twist. It's not one for distance fishing because it's not perfectly round. It's ideal for this situation. this far. Still stick your corners down. There you go, it just sits like that. So when it goes in the water, the lead is at the bottom, the bait's at the top, and you know that it'll sit like that. The chod just sits up nice. halfway between the rope so brought them both halfway we'll go see what Chris is doing he just put one bag out I think he's putting his second one out now how happening Chris
but that's a wrap. Unfortunately, no more fish. No. Nope. No. The only two baits of the day was on CCW baits out of 13 anglers. Yeah, not bad. Cooper's in the pudding. It. Yeah. Shame I didn't get one, but that's all I got. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, enjoyed it, being a good day. We'll do a little of the own off for you. A pow. Yeah, pow. And uh, there's going to be a few videos from CCW, won't there, in the future? Yeah, hopefully. If, me and Jim can get on the bank a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I'll put a link just to the um, in the description to the channel, so make sure you head over there and subscribe for when the videos are coming out, big videos and etc. Yeah. Talk about the bits and tackle and yeah. Yes. So for now. Ciao. Pow. <laughs>